Happy Cemetery Sunday and welcome to East Florida Explorer here and today I am at the Good Hope Cemetery in Flagler County, Florida right along the Old Kings Road. It's a fairly old cemetery in the county. One that actually still is used and active today. Join me. We'll take a little walk and explore it. And this cemetery has a little bit of history. In June of 1923, the DuPont Holding Company deeded to five members five acres of land for the cemetery to be laid out in Flagler County. It was supposed to have a chapel in the middle, but that never happened. So it's a fairly older cemetery here. This one caught my eye. It looked very old, but just pretty much from weathering, I guess. Warren James Moore II, Florida. He was in the 301 Infantry, World War II. Born 1923 and died in 1970. Coming across some more graves from the 40s. Looks like we have would be Honorable Norman E. Carter, 1878 to 1944. And this probably would be his wife, Helen Carter, 1904 to 1945. And for some strange odd reason, I seem to be walking backwards through the cemetery. So I have to turn every time to look. But the cemetery faced the other way at one time. Here we have William H. Lewis, 1862 to 1940. And these graves back here, they caught my eye because they definitely look a little older. Got Mary Lewis, died in 1946. And for the Flagler County area, you know, it's not a real, real old county. There's a lot of history here, but it was part of St. John's County at one time. These names look very familiar here. Should have showed Wickline. That's a familiar name here in uh, this area and Bunnell, Florida. George E. Wickline, August 20th, 1903, November 8th, 1987. He was a member of the Bunnell Lodge, 200 F and A and M for 62 years. This area right here caught my eye right when I came into the cemetery, probably because the older raised um, burial, it's different. And I see some older ones over here, right under this oak tree. Gertrude Geiger Howe, 1914 to 1938. So that would be the oldest grave so far that I've seen, 1938. And this one doesn't say anything. And we have the whole Geiger, looks like family. Another one, April 10th, 1944, mother. Yeah, thought this would say something on it that doesn't. Another huge family name in the area. Not sure if they're all related or not, but Ollie Chester Weeks, Florida, apprentice seaman, died November 23rd, 1931. Hard to see that one. Another one, part of the Weeks family, in memory of Alice Owenelli Weeks, September 18th, 1904, entered into rest 
January 1st, 1926 in Bulo, Florida, age 21, 313 days. Huh. Oh, 21 years, three months, 13 days. So she was only 21 years old, it says, huh? Wow. And she died in Bulo, Florida. That's cool. Actually, Bulo is kind of like a ghost town now. It's not even a real, real town. There's old um, plantation there and stuff. It's just down the road, not too far. The whole area of Bulo, though, once a striving community. Another area right here caught my eye. Another family name from the county. Jones. Yeah, Fulin Jones died in 1986 and Alice May, 2010. They were married in 1946. See you in the morning. So I guess the, er the further I get back towards the back of the cemetery, the older the graves do start becoming. Yeah. Thomas J. Teston Jr. March 7th, 1919 to September 16, 1927. A little time on earth he spent till God for him his angel sent. Wow, I just seen a grave right here that actually I was going to go look for this grave, which I don't think the cemetery exists anymore. Um, maybe like five minutes down the road across the bridge in Flagler Beach, uh, there was a cemetery, but there's no longer one there. I think it's just houses in the area now, but the cemetery was called the Cochrane Cemetery. And right here I found, it says W.M. Cochrane, which the person that was buried in that cemetery, which it was his land, was William Cochran. Um, I'm not sure if this is the same person, but they do have the same last name. And I know, for some reason, it seems like a lot of cemeteries in this county, when they started developing, they started moving bodies into the other cemeteries like this one, or down the road there's the, uh, the Masonic Cemetery, which is, is the African American Cemetery. So in Bunnell, they move bodies there, they move bodies here. It's just, that's so strange to me, but. There's a lot of uh, abandoned and lost cemeteries in this area, all around Florida. I'm slowly finding them. Oh, check this out. Here's some familiar names here, I mean. Harry D. Bowie, 1888 to 1947. And I know in the town just west of here, Bunnell, the Bowie family did a lot there. And there's a street called Bowie Street. Look at this one, this is cool. This is made out of metal. Clara Bowie, mother. It's definitely an older looking grave. And speaking of some more family names, Durrance, and there's quite a few Durrance names here in this area, all from the late 80s it says. But that's another cemetery here in Flagler County that I read that was just bulldozed over to build the airport. The Durrance Family Cemetery, out at the airport with the White Family Cemetery. Sad, you know? These people were here first, should respect them. And I just, this caught my eye here. Looks like a baby grave with these uh, broken glass in it, all colors. Ethel Carolyn Leggett, 1937. March 24th to May 22nd, 37. Little charm there. 
Oh, yeah, some more of the Durrance family. Wow. Wow. And he has a Confederate flag here. Older style waving. George Washington Durrance, 1850 to 1940. The whole Durrance family from long ago. Dora H. Durrance, 1862 to 1924. Wow, all these ones are from the early 20s. Another George W. Durrance, Florida horseshoer in World War I. Died in 1927. That is really fascinating. And the name has been in this area forever. So these are really neat that the graves were saved or they're originally here, I'm not sure. It's really mysterious uh, history around about cemeteries in this area. Look at these two little graves here. Got Sarah, wife of John Helm, born in 1846 and died in 1908. 64 years. That's an old one there. These could possibly be the oldest ones I've seen. Oh, cannot read it. Sarah Clara. It's Clara Durrance. Died in 1908. Could be the original um, Durrance member from the, the airport area. But yeah, the family's big. Oh, some more familiar names of here. Bert Yelvington and Francis Yelvington. Always a big name in Florida. And of course, I want to show that this cemetery is on the edge of the old brick road here in Flagler County. And this is where the old brick road dead ends. I did a video on that. One of my first videos. Gotta save this stuff. It's just disappearing. You see they have a pile of the old brick road bricks right here. And this is a strange area back here. Right near, it looks like they just built like a building, probably like their crematory place. But there's graves back here. Are they real? Or is this like a display? Oh, this is real. James Bruner. And he died in 1922. 76 years. Wow, so these graves are like back here kind of forgotten. This one's kind of to an angle. Can't read it, but there is a date at the bottom that says 1946. Skipper. Abe Crooks died in 1954. Yeah, I'll just check out a couple of these out here. Oh wow, there's just some concretes. Nobody there. No name. Oh, another old. Wow, it's just like a chunk of concrete. Vernon Henders. I think he was born in 1884 and you can't see the bottom anymore. Wow, strange because it's right over here in this strange little area. Barney White. This is a neat grave. Wow, and he's the furthest one out here by himself. Died in 1927. Gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> he's got a lizard chilling on his grave. Don't worry, Barney. I didn't forget you. And over here, very old looking one as well. Our brother, John Eskinson, 1868 to 1925. So yeah, just, just a couple little graves over here in the very back corner. 
Here's one, just a little marker, nothing even on it. Figured I'd show that little area. That's kind of neat, you know? I'm gonna go up here towards the bigger trees again in the shadier areas. There's a couple more cool graves I'd like to show. Here's a grave. We got Betty Steflick, June 27th, 1917, November 7th, 2004. And Betty, I did the Betty Steflick Preserve in Flagler Beach. Has a lot of hiking trails. And they named that park in her honor. And there's one over here I gotta show. Every year in Flagler Beach, right down the road, they do a surf competition festival for this man, Tommy Tant, May 27th, 1974, November 19th, 1998. Our sunshine, Will's big brother. And every year in Flagler, it's, it's really nice. Everybody gets together, shows their respect. Good times. That's neat. See a couple people and a lot of old historic families. I'm really glad I visited this cemetery. I put it off for a while. This one over here just caught my eye. Looks like he was a huge Gators fan. He's got the Gators helmet. Foreman. Doug and Nancy. Oh, they were Gator fans for sure. Love you forever. Well, thanks for joining me here at the Good Hope Cemetery in Flagler County, Florida. I'll see you guys next time.